Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. If y'all want to see how to get your eyebrows slayed like this, keep on watching because you know you want to get your eyebrows slayed just like this. Welcome back to another video. I am on the roll, y'all. I am consistent. <laughs> like, consistent is the name. Okay, so this is Tuesday's video. I just want to get y'all a video up there. Um, My mom did my hair yesterday. I did do a look, but I was trying to rush and do a look to go outside and didn't make it outside. It's just like, why am I keep having these moments to where I just can't go outside on time? Like, but yes, it was my weekend anyway. So, um, yeah, I was like that one up. Um, however, I am going to do a two week vlog. Y'all supposed to be getting a vlog for a two days video, but I want my vlogs to be longer because I know I obviously don't do nothing. So let me know if y'all like the two week vlogs. Disrespectful. If y'all don't like, I mean, if y'all do like the two week vlogs, um, I'll probably just keep those going. But if y'all like the one week vlogs, I'll try to like plan stuff accordingly to do things but i don't normally don't be doing nothing i'm a very boring person like i am here alone and i like to just be in my zone um however y'all we got to be consistent for 2023 i just can't keep doing this like <laughs> something's gotta change okay so i've been loving like getting into my creativity mode and yeah y'all i got two memory cards and i will be doing a series on instagram so y'all gotta follow me on instagram if y'all haven't followed me on instagram go ahead and do so now the link or the ad will be right here um i will be doing a series on like um equipment so yeah that's gonna be a fun one um so yeah let's get into brows my hands might be ashy but that's okay y'all so i'm trying to go up as far as i can so y'all can see exactly what i do to my brows so i like to first start off with clean shaved brows y'all y'all know i don't like hairs underneath no hairs peeking through shave it okay if y'all not that type of person that like a clean brow this one is not for you so shave it make sure your brows is plucked and clean no hairs so i'm going to take my 24 hour clear brow gel y'all this stuff keeps the brows down okay it keeps the brows down so we're gonna put this on and you can actually put this on after but I like to put this on before because I just like it so I go up in the front how my brows are going up in the front and then I just go back to where my brows is going back so basically just follow your natural brow hair but in the front your brow should be going up without a doubt where it starts from going back, that's where you want to start pushing the brow back. Some people actually do their brows up to where it's more laminated. And sometimes I do too because I like a little bit of a bigger brow now. Y'all remember I used to do those brows where my brows would be skinny. I did not like my brows thick. But now I do. I don't know. And like I said, y'all, I've been taking my meal pills so my brows have grown out. A little bit more so yeah you're gonna continue to do this until you get those brows molded down and stuck I'm gonna make it a, a little bit easier for this eyebrow tutorial you can see it's molded down and I just gotta wait for it to dry after this dries I'm gonna do this one off camera I'm gonna come back and lay powder on top So, I did have to go back in and put a little bit of hairs because I didn't see those. Y'all know me how I am with my hairs. And if you are new and you don't, I'll play about them hairs. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, powder. This is in a, this is in the shade Butter. I'm going to take this. I'm going to link her Instagram in the description right below, so go check it out. Um... I'm going to take this and I am going to pat this right on my eyebrows. So, like I said, we don't want oily brows. We want very much slayed all day brows. So, we're going to press it in. When I say press it in, press it in. And 
it should be at a point where it's already dried okay y'all so and don't take that much powder what i like to do is that's when i'm setting my face or any anything i like to take the powder and i like to go on the back of my hands and i like to take that excess powder off so you want to just basically tap this in tap it 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 in because you want this powder to suck up any oils that may stick through also make sure the clear brow gel is dry once again make sure it's dry because why you do not need your powder sticking to the brow hairs okay we're not gonna have that once they're powdered just like this what you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe that excess powder off more so press it in because you really don't want to wipe it off so we're gonna press this powder in come right back so now that the powder is off i love 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 how my brows are looking like what these are obviously my brows but I know that in certain areas I would like to fill them in, but I just like an Instagram brow, y'all. That's what they call them, the Instagram brow. So, what I like to take is these. These are my babies. I go to these, I live by these. It gives a nice, subtle, soft brow. And maybe even a harsh if you wanted to do it that way. But I like these. These are the P. Louise Also Brow Tea Full Pomades. Basically, it's a pomade. Um, eyebrow paints. Sorry, these are eyebrow paints, not pomades. Um, I use the shades Espresso and Mochaccino um, only because I love a gradient brown effect. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get this gradient um, gradient brown. So I'm going to use the shade Espresso first and we're going to go towards the back. I want to come up a little bit so that y'all can see. But this is how the pomade looks, y'all. Just like that. And I like to take a flat. Let me get the brush first before I start talking. I like to take a flat I haven't washed this brush in like who knows when. I like to take a flat angle brush. Something just like this. Something like this, y'all. And this is a 762 angle brush. I think that's what it is. Yes, it is. 762 small angle brush from Bedellium Tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the product from the back of my hand. Get it on both sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shaping my brows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to angle my brow brush flat, straight like this. I'm not pointing it down this way and draw it. I'm simply pointing it this way like I'm going to poke myself, basically. So in all the areas that I have sparse, I'm going to create that brow that I want following my natural brow hair. If you don't have natural brow hairs, you don't really have brows, just create a brow shape that you want. Draw a point here here and here and we get your desired brow because you have those points to where you want to lay that brow down i'm going to take that paint i mean this brush with a light hand do not go heavy because you're going to get a heavy looking brow start from the middle but with the tip of the brush and then as i go down i like to take my brow tail a little bit longer because sometimes when i conceal them it just gets lost and I don't really have time to be adding brow uh, product back in. And then as I'm going around, what I'm going to do is start curving it down to that tail, to that line. So, so I can connect it. So as you can see, it's going to connect small strokes and I'm going to start going in the middle and connecting it to that bottom line. The tail of your brow and like I said I go a little longer because some of that tail is not going to be there so if you don't like a longer tail I still will dry anyway because once you start concealing it's going to go, go away I'm going to lightly fill it in I don't need to harshly fill it in and I'm taking a light hand with whatever product that I have on this brush I want to do this brow 
off camera and I'm gonna come back so we can do the front of this bread. And so this is how they are coming out really good so i'm going to take my other color which is right here and it is called mochaccino a little extended in the front just a little bit so i got an extra uh, piece to where i want to flicker it up like extra brow if that makes sense and then what I want to do is connect it to the color in the back. Don't be afraid to go in the back. That's the point of the ombre brow. So at the top, I'm going to do the same. But as you can see, I stopped like halfway, like right here. Start from the bottom of the line and I'm going to start making strokes up, angling my brush the point tip down to the bottom line so as the hairs are going up in the front you want to flicker the hairs up to mimic those hair like strokes that you have from your brow so that's why i said when you use a brow gel flicker it up in the front so therefore it's already there all right my brows looking yes they are big but give me just a second, okay? I already said that my brows have grown big and then I already filled them in. When you fill them in, make them even more bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my 252S MAC brush. I just love this brush because it's fat and I use it with cut crease sometimes. Um, and it's flat. I made it to the point where it is flat, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take a lighter concealer towards the back, especially when I'm doing uh, looks I like for the arch of my brow to stand out and then I'm gonna go with a darker concealer towards the front because I just like how it just gives this neutral tone instead of it being highlighted from the back it's so hard for me sometimes to explain but I'll be trying to explain it to the best ability that I can so um let me find let me go get the concealer and I want to come back so the concealers that I like using are the Anastasia magic touch concealers because I like the shades of it and it's actually creamy and they dry down to a good consistency um it's the shade 14 and 17 but i want to go ahead with 14 first what i'm gonna do is put some just on the because this brush be spreading so i'm gonna put it on one side and what i'm gonna do is i am going to start on my skin first and i'm gonna gradually go up don't go up all the way first because what you're gonna do is you're going to end up taking that um brow off and you're gonna hate it okay You want that brow to pop to tap this out and that's exactly where we're going we're not going to bring this um light concealer anywhere else but but towards the brow bone to make the brow bone pop so i am tapping this out actually this kind of dries pretty fast so yeah i'm just tapping this out i'm not letting it see it none of that so i'm gonna tap this out with a 142 concealer buffer brush y'all So I'm going to do the top of the brows before I do the front because I don't know, I just want to make sure 
everything is aligned right i want to take this 212 brush from a mac and it's just a flat brush i don't know i just like this brush i've been using it for a long time and i want to take the darker concealer which is number 17 and i want to put this right at the the very top on the back and front of the brush and then <clears throat> what we're going to do is i am going to start right here like sometimes i'll start right here and then sometimes i'll start before so i'm going to press it down basically like i said the the brows are too big so i want to go down as even as possible Do not not get a lot of concealer on your hand because you want that concealer on your brush. I mean, sorry. Because if not, it's just gonna be dry. Yeah, brows be taking so long. This is how I should be looking. And then I'm, I'm about to do the front. I was doing the front. I'm going to do the front. I'm going to do this one off camera. But let's do the front. So I'm going to take this same oval brush that I did the back of the brows with in the front. And then I'm using number 17, which is the darker concealer in the front. I told y'all I like that gradient effect. And go back. And then connecting it to the lighter concealer. And down right. So I want to tap right here. So you see how I'm not tapping on the line? I'm just tapping this in first. And make sure you don't touch the brows, okay? with this because you don't want to mess up so you see that extra line that i had put in the front i want to literally just tap on top of that and tap on the brows and i'm going to take um this beauty blender y'all let's kind of smooth some of this out anyways that's how you do that around and then you're going to take your foundation at the top and everything is going to blend in but let me do this brow off camera so you see how it's big and i'm gonna come back with the brows done. I'm going up on this brow a little bit more just so it can be even to this one. A little smaller. And yeah, y'all. That's about it. So this is how my brows turned out, y'all. Just like this. I'm about to go do my makeup, y'all. And just stay tuned for the final look because y'all brows easy. Easy. If you do this at home, let me know. Okay. And you can use a deep brow pomade too, but I don't know. I just, for some reason, I just like the paint. But my brows turned out so bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all once my makeup. Thank so much for tuning into this tutorial. Let me know if y'all like my updated eyebrow tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Stay tuned for part two for the eyes and face, y'all. Bye.